the fast approaching temple like the Wenga. Tucked into a corner of present-day North Hollywood sits a historically important piece of real estate, El Campo de Cahuenga. Article 5. That in the virtue of the aforesaid articles, equal rights and privileges are vouchsafed to every citizen of California. In mid-January, Angelinos and other Californians of all ages gather at the Campo de Cahuenga to commemorate the signing of the Treaty of Cahuenga on January 12, 1847, a full year before the ending of the United States War with Mexico with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo on February 2, 1848. The California Agreement ended military hostilities between U.S. and Mexican forces and guaranteed protection for the Californios under the United States Constitution. Well, this is John Simons. John, this is Rafael Nieto. He's a descendant of Manuel Nieto. The Campo is located in the Coenga Pass near an old-time ford in the Los Angeles River. It has served as an important stop for the Great Butterfield Stage Line, enabling the U.S. Postal Service to cross the continent. It also was an important camp for Union forces during the Civil War. The treaty was also officially signed January 13, 1847 by Heavey Redding, William H. Russell, and Louis McLean Jr. of Fremont's California Battalion, and by Antonio Carrillo and Agustin Oliveira of Escadron. The Spanish-style ranch house at the Campo is a replica of the original adobe that fell into disrepair over 100 years ago. In 2001, a geological survey performed for the MTA Red Line construction uncovered the site's original foundation which extends from the grounds across Lancashire Boulevard in North Hollywood. The foundation is now marked with decorative masonry extending across the boulevard. You have overstepped yourself. You know perfectly well that I intended to hurt Andres Pico. Lieutenant Colonel John C. Fremont of the United States Army had to use all of his diplomatic skills to persuade the civilian battalion leadership of the Bear Flag Republic to abide by the treaty's provisions. This was no small task, considering that the war with Mexico had not yet ended. Andres Pico, commander-in-chief of Mexico's California forces, agreed to terms heretofore unheard of in order to help prevent further bloodshed. The American flag has been flying over the territory ever since. January 7th, when we routed Castro's forces. Yes, and I congratulate you and your men on a job well done, sir. But you have been entirely too generous. How can you grant to Mexican citizens full rights and privileges of American citizenship when we are still at war with Mexico? You have been too generous, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Fremont's military discipline prevailed, and the treaty was signed. The occasion is considered by many, regardless of their political persuasion, to be a landmark example of how an orderly transition of authority can take place. <laughs> California has existed under many flags, but its history is a living thing. At the Campo de Cahuenga, visitors can experience firsthand the promise that California holds.